change of plans. We are packing up, but we're not going home. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Mary's just getting chest PT. Say good morning to Ollie boy. Foot licking at the getting same foot time. Foot licking? Ollie. Yeah, we should yes. specify who is licking right Yeah. <laughs> so, this is, uh, we already met with the CF team, and actually, Mary has to move rooms just for a few hours today to do the graded challenge. I love that it's called a challenge. Um, to uh, start her septaz uh, antibiotic so but they're gonna keep this room for us um, so we'll be going all over the place today so welcome to our day guys Ollie and I went out this morning for a long walk and we stopped at Blackbird Donuts to get some delicious donuts. I love that they use a pizza box inside out for the donuts. And uh, so this is our morning. Mary's just uh, just finished up PT and how you doing? I'm okay. Did you sleep better last night? So much better. Yeah, me too. Christmas lights. Make everything cheerier, right? I think that is true. And we're having some lunch. I just got some. I actually <laughs> had salmon. Oh, that lunch and this lunch. 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 And but this is really good. Good. I'm. That's so like glad. legit salmon. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you can have that. Mm. So, we are no word yet on. Yeah. I guess that maybe they're waiting for a room to open up. Yeah. In the, so the. It's called the ICP Intermediate Care. What's the P program? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. Well, it's where they basically it might be like two on one nursing in that unit, basically because they're doing like testing Mary with this antibiotic yeah. uh, to make sure that there's no allergy. We don't have a suspicion that there's anaphylactic allergy, but. It's the, I, the ICP, is that what it's called? I think so. ICP is like, it's in between like ICU and normal floor. It's like, like, yeah, higher nursing staff. Yeah. In case like reactions or people are on there for a ton of different reasons. So if someone's allergic to a drug, like if Mary were to have anaphylactic reaction to an antibiotic that we needed her to go on, they could do desensitization where they do tiny doses and um, but that also is done on this unit. Anyways, we just have to go over there for a few hours while she gets, does the graded drug challenge. All right, this is afternoon in the hospital. Sleepy dog in the window. Just finished the vlog. Just finished Tested. editing. Mary's playing clown bingo. Cause they're trying to get bingo back to its prime because apparently not a lot of patients play. So I'm trying to be a supportive patient and help them. Okay, horse. There you go. So and so, to... so there's actually a studio downstairs where these clowns are doing this bingo round. Carpet. I don't have a carpet. Okay. So um, remember how we met some of the clowns in the hallway like a week ago? Yeah. These, this, neither of these are the ones we met, but it's the same group. Yeah. Clowns. So fun. We're cheering them on. Mm, they're and che cheering you on. on. Yeah. We haven't heard any updates on Mary going to do the drug challenge yet, so I guess we just wait. I finished my second PT session for the day, and I'll have my third in the glare. I can't see. In the glare. Hour and a half. Okay. So, good job, babe. Good. And I think my rash which is on my leg from the antibiotic, is getting better. It's good. That's awesome. And we had peripheral blood work last night because to do the... The vancomycin. To do what? The vancomycin. Yes, to do the vancomycin level, they don't prefer to do it out of my line because the drug has been running through that, those plastic tubes. So 
they prefer to do it peripherally. But um, they got it the first try, everything's good. And I'm not sure how often we do those checks. Twice a week, maybe? Mm-hmm. But the level was good. Yeah. It's pretty nice that today has been a quieter day. Um, I just spoke with my nurse and it turns out that my drug challenge is going to most likely be tomorrow. Um, they ended up having a, kind of an emergency and somebody else needed to take that room, which is totally fine. So we will be doing that drug challenge whenever we're able to. And in the meantime, I'm hooked back up to my vancomycin and just doing my thing, um, just resting. It's nice that it's much quieter than yesterday. And um, I think we said this, we actually slept last night, which is, <sighs> I was like kind of scared after that first night when we didn't we barely slept. I was like, oh no, I hope that's not how it's gonna be. But we, we slept last night, so that was great. And Peter is taking a rest over there as well. I've been like trying to like evaluate. We, uh, we, me, I'm not much of a patient who wants visitors and I think I was thinking through like why why is that I think one reason is because it's typically so busy in here that by the time even when I'm on phone calls because my my way of visiting people is through FaceTime so that's how I enjoy like while I'm in the hospital hanging out with my family and my family of course the minute that they find out I'm going into the hospital are like they're like we can get on a plane right now and be there and they are so supportive just like they have been my entire life and I'm so grateful for that so mom and dad thank you for always being there for me even through the distance and um, of course I'm gonna start crying but um, I love spending time with my family outside of the hospital and so I choose to just be together when I'm outside the hospital. Then I don't have to share the time with any doctors or nurses or therapists. I can just simply be with my mom and dad and that's what I love so much. Um, but I feel so, so supported and at any moment if I, if, if you know, like when Peter had to go to Scotland and I was still in the hospital, my mom was like, nope, I'll be there because I was gonna be leaving the hospital in the next like day or two. So she helped me get home and all of that. So anyway, but yeah, I'm just not much of a visitor's person. And we've had friends say like, oh, you want us to come visit? And I, it's so sweet that people are willing to come visit. I think it's just while I'm in the hospital, I'm in business mode. Like this is like my job right now is to do a lot of hard work, coughing and battling side effects and all of the things. And I think I just like, I don't know. I'm just not much of a visitor's person. But anyway, everybody's different. I want to soak up the sunshine while it's still here. Look at that view, isn't that amazing? I am so thankful we got a good view. I think it makes a huge difference for my craziness, mental health, going crazy in my hospital room, all of that. Change of plans. Well, Peter ran out and ran an errand and took Ollie out and everything and now we are packing up. But we're not going home. So remember how we were going to do the drug challenge today, but that didn't happen and that's totally fine. So we were under the impression that we were gonna do that possibly tomorrow. So then as things happen in the hospital, as always, plans changed, timing changed, and you gotta go with the flow. So we are packing up, packing up this room. We are being moved to the ICP We are being, hold on. We are being moved to the ICP tonight so that we can start the drug challenge at 7 a.m. when those nurses come in. And then after that, the plan at this point is to be moved 
to another room. It won't be this one, but it'll be another room somewhere. And I heard that if that other room isn't available, we'd be moved to that room and then that room. So it's, it's obviously really simple. So simple. <laughs> What's <Especially>, wrong? <laughs> nothing. It's just, we have a lot of stuff. And so, you know, it's a lot of moving, but got to be flexible. Life in the hospital, I guess. Yep. We're still waiting for word on when my new room is gonna be ready. And so I was just doing all my nebulizers and my third case in for the day. And um, I don't know, flush my J tube, just doing the things that I can do here. I'm hooked back up to my vancomycin. And yeah, so just waiting but just resting in the meantime. Guess what guys? We're in a different room. We are in a new location where Mary's gonna be doing the drug challenge in the morning. So here's a little tour of the room. <coughs> it's uh, So it's pretty much the same as pretty much all the other rooms except got this crazy little uh, arm here. I think it's for like observation that's what they said and they said they used it once and they've never used it again so <laughs> it was it was a novel a idea it was a trial thing yeah but it's kind of intimidating looking yeah but anyway so here it doing is what we gotta do. doing what we gotta do look how much more spacious this room is you probably can't see it on camera but there's even a place to sit with a chair at the table that is so fancy. So fancy. Oh, man. Little things you notice. What are you feeling? Well, I'm now. feeling, yeah. You? Yeah. All right, we better go to sleep. So, as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Don't you think we oh. After party with that little boy? Yep. Let's do it. Because it's better when we're together, you know? Good night, Bonesy. We'll see you tomorrow.